All right, so while I leave the meditation, I'm actually going to turn off the light because it's definitely not about seeing me. <sighs> so you want to just go ahead and sit and get comfortable stretch, move, duty less, scratching that's necessary, drink a little water if you need to, pause the video for a second, if you need to go use the restroom or have a snack first. You want to make sure that you can be completely alone and unbothered. All right, so I'm gonna imagine that you've done all these things and pause the video and are back with me now, ready to go. So you're just gonna take a breath in and out. And in and out. and in, and out, and I want you to begin to sense where the edges of your auric field are at. It's usually just a few feet away from your body, and wherever you just think it is or intuit it is or had a first flash of where it is is where it is at the moment so just sitting with the edge of the auric field taking a breath in and out And noticing that this energetic field around you goes just as deeply above you as it does below you. It stretches to the front and to the back and to the right and to the left. And taking a breath in. Acknowledging again the six directions the direction in front of you, the direction behind you, the direction to your left and to your right. And then noticing the seventh direction, the direction that is center, the direction where all the points meet. And taking a breath in, and out. <sighs> and if you can now imagine that there are two serpents, one stretching out before you and space and the other stretching out behind you. Straight, linear time past and future. And as we are allowing ourselves to step outside of linear space, the serpent before us curls inward. The serpent behind us curls inward. One nestling up into the nest of the sacrum, the other nestling into the nest of the heart. There is nowhere to be. There is nothing to become. There is no past and no future and only the present.
and you just unbecome into the void. There is only here and only now. And imagining that you know where the edge of time is and taking a breath in and stretching your aura out in and out in and out. And just allowing your aura to permeate the edge of time and to slide right off it. And it's easy. And you see now how far north and south has stretched. and the distances of east and west and above and below and center. And you allow the gate above your head, the one that stretches out to the starry multitude in the black night sky. And it begins to open this white firelight spiraling downward towards your head, down past the eyes and the nose, into the throat and the chest, and just as easily as the gate opened above, the gate opens from below. This connected to the terrestrial earth, to the black fire and the red lava, and just as easily as the white light from above spiraled down, the red and black fire from below spirals upward into center. Up the feet, up the legs, up the thighs, up the sacrum, up the gut, up the chest. The black fire from below, the white fire from above. Uniting with the sun flame at center and all the directions. And we sit between the black fire, the white fire, and the red fire within, and the six directions all meeting at the seventh center. And the center exists in all things and is in all places at one time and all times. And taking a breath in. And in the space between the worlds, we commune in stillness. Taking a moment to remember what you felt and saw and heard in this space, taking a breath in and out and in and out. Returning to the sun at center Taking a moment to allow the solar system to form and take shape and spiral around you. Sun at center, attending planets. Sun at center, rotating forms. Feel the gravity within the center of the sun. The black fire, feel the red fire, feel the white fire and all surrounding and spiraling around the center sun. 
For this is the seat of consciousness, the heart. And as quickly as we see the solar system forms, they disappear, the planets go, the sun goes. The gate below closes, the one above shuts. The directions before you, behind you, and to the left, and to the right fade. Again, you unbecome into the void. All images drop. The serpent in the sacrum spirals out in front, and the serpent in the heart spirals out and back. And you notice your edges and your aura on the outside of time, and you breathe inwards, and with each breath, it becomes smaller and comes back to your body and back to yourself, breathing in and out. <sighs> breathing in and out. <sighs> in and out. <sighs> Linear time, present, future, and past. And you allow even the image of the sphere to drop Pulling your aura all the way back out into a comfortable seat in space. Maybe it's in a different place than it was before. Maybe it's closer. Maybe you need a little bit more room, so maybe it's further. Just returning to the breath. <sighs> returning to the body. And whenever you're ready, You can go ahead and open your eyes. Hi. Just give you a second to return back into your body. Thanks for doing the meditation. Do this at least three times before Sunday if you have a chance. And thanks for listening. And there'll be more videos and meditations to come in the future. And I will see many of you on Sunday night live.